Babes and welcome back to another video. I don't ever want to see the face. I'm from Canada and not the States. So today's video, we're taking all through the behind the scenes of trying to find the next Ashanti facility. I'm talking, you're going to see the prices of the places we're looking at. I'm talking, you're going to see the square footage of the places that we're looking at. I'm talking, you're going to hear the behind the scenes questions, comments, um, commentary as we are traveling from place to place trying to determine pros and cons, ups and downs. You guys can see the trials and tribulations that we go to when it comes to trying to find a place because no lie we've been looking for like a month or two and we have yet to find anything and we have expanded our horizons to the point where we're looking at um even running a, a like a huge home a big home um a big town home a big condo um even another apartment like we are looking at like four or five in addition to like office spaces warehouses all that stuff we've been looking at like four or five different options and we've yet to find anything like think of how crazy that is like we're not even limiting ourselves to just an office space we are broadening our horizons to like four to five other categories and still cannot find a place <sighs> i could you guys now this is literally the most trying process of my entire life and it's just so frustrating because it literally feels like we're never gonna get a, you know, we're never gonna find a place you know it feels like we're always gonna just be stuck into this apartment and it's just like i'm ready to like separate or expand and have a kitchen back maybe cook i mean i, I don't know i want to say this is definitely the most frustrating process and as i mentioned in this video buying my car was literally that might honestly just be tying with this process i can make a whole separate story time of buying my car that was a horrendous ordeal but um yeah, so th this this video is a lot. I mean, it's a lot on one video. Um, the crazy thing is the first property that we looked at this video, we were literally about to get. And the next video on YouTube was going to be an office tour of the brand new Ashanti facility. And so you'll see why it wasn't in this video. So just stay tuned. Watch the entire video so you guys can get all the information. Because I'm telling you guys, I'm taking you guys on this journey with us. As you get to see all the things that we get to see. And just see all the frustrations and the chaos. Because when everybody says, just go find another place, it's... Unfortunately, not that simple, or else we would have already been there. But um, hope you guys enjoy this video, and hope you guys like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more entrepreneurship context. I don't think anybody on YouTube is doing it how we do it here at the Ashanti Collection. We get to see all the behind the scenes, and I'll see you, Shanti Beats, on our next video. And pray with us in the comments below. Pray with us as we keep trying to find space. Just pray for us, guys. Literally, just pray for us. So thank you guys so much for watching literally just pray for us but thank you guys so much for listening we ramble enjoy the video i hope to see you guys in my next video you're looking at another place guys right in the town square <laughs> You said what? Oh wow. Yeah. That's a nice big bathroom. The yeah. ceilings are a little low. Yeah, I mean it's a huge bathroom. I don't mind if it's huge. Well Jalen, you no. probably mind. No, He's pretty tall. So what two little storage closets? Yeah. Okay. I just kinda of have it here, but what do you say? Are there you no know, lights? No, look at that one. Another little sh That's the important thing like, right? These two. Why is my flash not even doing anything? Here another little area is here. And then how much is this one again? Yes, um the owner did say What would I guess the final? That's, that's tricky because it's a commercial. I'm not familiar with like residential okay. um, utility bills, but commercial the downside is if we didn't you know have to melt things i feel like spaces work a lot better because i was even thinking like that space back there would be cool for like the filling machines yeah. and stuff like the little corner and the bathroom everything's nice out here it's nice so it's like this could all just be um racks of storage but then you have to realize that you know we have to make things too so it's like you know once you have to realize that you melt unless you melt and stuff right so, but as far as all the spaces that we looked at, guys, so far, this is by far one of the nicer ones. But like I was just telling Logan, when it comes to the melting and stuff, there's not that much space. Yeah, it's definitely 
Definitely nice. I think one more little walk through. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's Storage. Storage. Bathroom. Water. Nice little space. And another space. I was thinking about melting stuff back here, but there's no outlets back here. I don't know, this would be a kind of small room to do that in. Well, I guess you could you put a stove here, you melt here, mix here, and maybe fill here. It just might work, but you need a freezer. You need a, well, I guess a freezer and a fridge could fit here. You need two freezers. I don't know, it might actually it might work. It might work. Yeah, so um, I figured we were to start documenting are different showings that we're going to we're about to go to another one as well but when i say that logan and i have looked at so many different places as far as we're gonna have like an hour plus video with all these i know but... <laughs> longer than that but yeah. by far i think this has been definitely like the better scenario yeah. for sure there's definitely a lot of like downfalls as far as outlets and stuff go as outlets we have to figure out utility cost and if we can use our stove top can yeah we do do we do melt as so, you guys know we do yeah. melt we freeze and there's only one outlet in there so. um and then we would need to figure out total cost of everything because you know we still run in our apartment and our apartment is you know pretty hefty a month so to run out our apartment place and a commercial space is pretty pretty costly especially considering that our apartment is not anywhere near where we are we're in like some small town like you know yeah. what i'm saying so oh, <laughs> you know what all these are right what I don't know about that one, but I got two calls and two messages this morning because I went through Kelly Blue Book about the estimate of my car, and because I did that, I have all these car dealerships like, oh, are you willing to sell your car? Are you willing to sell your car? Uh, I'm like... Hey, well, how do you know what that was? It could have been SPG or something. I don't think so. Well, you don't know. You don't uh, want to just... Let me call back then. I don't think hanging up would have been the better scenario. Why not answer the phone and then hang up? <sighs> Unless it's um, the stupid person with the... <laughs> You're alone. Your car alone. <laughs> I don't want a vacation. Not through you. All right, great. Now I'm with Vacation Solo on behalf of Grand Caribbean Cruises, and you can press one to be removed. And in a few months, when it's safe to travel, I'm going to press one, one and you're still going to call me back. Your number has successfully been added to our Do Not. Dang. You're so aggressive. Okay. Um. <laughs> this is what I live with. I don't know where my number got called out there, but it's stuck. It there. did, and now, yeah, now you're now you're stuck with it. But um, what was I just saying? No, so pretty much what's going on is well, no, you two places, and what we wanted to do was find a home or something that was big enough to rent out to do both. So yeah. we're in one location instead of having to drive all the way to Timbuktu because you know we're working late at night. It's just like you know, it's just a lot. Yeah. So we've been looking for like the past two months, guys, and it's been such a struggle. You know, yeah. it literally has been such a struggle. So we're about to look at another place. It looks nice, but we know how. Yeah, we're gonna go check it out. We know, we know how it is because this company that we're looking at, they everything always looks nice, but when you go there, it's kind of like, what, like what the hell, bro? Right huh? You're not paying attention. She can hear. How can she hear? People can hear stuff. Your eyes still messed stop up. Stop being like, stop being weird, oh, guys. My allergies. Listen, the worst allergies right now. I'm one thing I like about this place is that they're literally stating that they're negotiable, and the guy really needs he needs and wants to get these rented out. So it's almost to the point that we might be able to press it for even less than twelve hundred dollars a month. Yeah, but if you still have to pay for or maybe do else. twelve, maybe do twelve hundred with him paying bills. Either way, why would he pay bills? He wants to rent it out. Come on, he's in desperate need of renting this out. So think what about that. Do you drop it to like a thousand nine hundred? I don't know how deep we can go, but. I don't think we'll we need... be like boom, we're in out. Yeah, and we'll be here for a, a solid year. Maybe I don't even... know. We don't even know if it'll work though. Do you think the space would work though, right? Would it look like mm, it worked? I was trying to like go on camera and like the back space was like, okay, well, you can have the fridge here. Maybe you have a second fridge here. Maybe you have the filling station like here because you probably have to fill back there too. We have at least have an outlet in each room. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the lack of outlets is. You need more than one outlet. I would say yeah. you need more than one outlet in well, each, each room. Yeah, so but um, I would say if we team, didn't. God, I, I guess oh, God, I, yeah, you can go. All right, I want to start slowly driving. So I would say if I had definitely had more outlets, I don't know if we just didn't have to melt when it came to body butter making. I feel like we would have we would have been found a place, yeah. but because we had to melt and how we do things, you know, it, it almost is kind of yeah. We kind of need to have a space that works, you know. 
Yep. The only downside is parking is really, really bad here. So I don't know. Like yeah. literally everything says tenant parking except that one space that's right between two tenant parkings. So, and then the rest of it is just this guy, which makes no freaking sense. Yeah, for his hardware store that I hate to say he gets one customer an hour, but nice guy. Barely. Oh, turning out of here. We'll no, you don't have to go out this way. I just, I just did. All, nice. all right, guys, so we're to see you guys at the second showing that we had. That would still be kind of pricey. Oh, is that cheaper? Well, it'd be like, if we can get that for a thousand, this for nine, you could be like around like twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars So you, with the high school as your backyard, guys, Tell me how crazy this is. This is a place actually for living, but we're to look at it for our business. The tennis court is literally right here. You have the track field right there, and you have a freaking church right there. Tell me how, how, how is that not weird? How can you just live on property like this? That's what I want to know. Like, how can you just live on high school? Like, that just seems like that is so, so not safe. Like, I don't understand how safe that is. Ooh. Logan's about to break in. All right. Break in, break in, break in. All right, let's see. If, I mean, if this is nice, that'd be freaking awesome. And this is pet friendly. Is it? Mm -hmm. So chisels can be here. Ooh. That's two bedrooms. Google AdSense just drops. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. Yeah, it's is it? Yeah. It smells musty. Oh, musty. It smells musty. It smells musty. She said live here? That's, what, that's, some, that's the type of stuff my dad was saying. You gotta compromise. For years, man. Right? Then we wouldn't have to travel that much. What's there? Outside. It feels cold in here. Is that thermostat? Uh, here's the 60 degrees in here. But there's the bathroom. How huge that is. I was really shocked. <laughs> I didn't think it was that big. This does not feel like somewhere I would want to live. Bro, what if well, the tennis people come over here? She's also saying you could possibly even use this for. We can try to use this for business. And I know. I obviously. That's what, that's what it, Why are you whispering? That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Obviously, that's, what, that's, that's the only thing I was thinking about. I'm not living here. Oh, look. You got neighbors. Yeah. They're also by the high school. Yeah, that's not weird. They're the ones that just drove by. Who? The Spanish people that just drove by. There's three, four, five of them. Why are you pointing a camera out? The tennis court is right there. I don't understand how that's not like. Would you, would you see this space working for business or not? And then you would have a stove and. No, look, I, I don't. I don't see this you working. Think this, you think this is bad? It's not. I would want to make it work, but I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, oh, crazy. Please, right? Logan thinks the space will work. So Logan, you walk me through this entire apartment and you let me know how right, that's gonna work. I walk into my my body butter making place, right? Yes, right here. Okay, so I make my stuff here, right? Now, this is here, which kind of sucks. But maybe could possibly be moved over there. So actually, maybe. So anyway, what I would do is I'd get nice steel, steel, uh, stainless steel tables mm -hmm. that are counter height that mm -hmm. I can make right here. Mm -hmm. I can make them, fill, mix, okay. And then what you could do is you could put your mixtures over here or the stainless steels move this thing and make, put your kitchen in okay station. the body butter making station isn't the problem it's literally everything else so it's our okay. thousand storage things okay obviously you can make body butters here that's not even so that's not even a question be, this one room would be this one room you would have to make probably for most likely packing get all your packing supplies all your all of it so you put all your you put all the shelving here and the shelving there we have how many outside our room right now? We have one, two. You could put all your body butters in here as well. So what you do is Oh, we gotta pack and put all of our storage yeah, in like here. So we have literally just this space to pack. Okay, it doesn't work. No. <laughs> no, let's keep going. You're doing great. You're doing great. If anything, this room is bigger. So this Logan, hold on. This room is bigger. I mean it won't work. My lip gloss stuff probably won't be able to fit. That's why I said about this place would be the one. The room. body butter probably stuff would fit. Yeah, I was not saying that the lip gloss would stay with us, but you were like, oh, why would I want to transport it? Which I make sense. I get I'm, not, it. I'm not transporting it, I just have to package up the house. Oh, unless people ordered. Go to the HS. So never mind, forget it. Well, I mean, you could put all the storage in here. Come on, let's go. Well, I don't know, hold on. No, if I'm hungry, I want to go to the Come on. You could put all the storage stuff in here. Could you pack in here? But for 900 a month, I mean. Plus, what do you think? What do you think? What else do you have to pay? 
I mean, your standard utilities, but you, okay, right now we pay. We would probably have to put internet here because we need it for business. So you'd do $40 for internet, you could write that off, and then it would be, let's say electric is the same as ours. Okay, so electric in, say so electric in ours, so it's just say it's like, I'm gonna highball electric 100, and then highball, and then just say $40 for internet, okay? So right there is 140 plus one, was it 915? So you're looking at 1,500, or $1,055, okay? So you're at 1,055, and what else we get to pay besides that? Hmm. I mean, this little area could be a little Maybe body bag storage. I don't know if they have that included or not. I can believe the high school. I would say this is probably about eleven hundred dollars to live here a month after all your utility. Eleven? Probably eleven. So my question too is, is that right? Why don't you get the other place? What place? That one down there? Yeah, the commercial. That's place. what I'm saying. So it, it makes sense. Okay. So come on, let's go. Uh, Waste my time. Come on. Walk up. You want to go to the high school cafeteria? You're yeah, ignorant. <laughs> Place. I might look at a 
apartments in Hershey. Hershey is expensive. <laughs> is it? It can't be more. It can't be worse than thirteen hundred a month for my whole well, apartment. Hershey is expensive. Like more expensive yeah, than we like, pay. Oh, Dinky House in Hershey could be like upper, like possibly awesome. like twenty hundred plus for no reason. And it's not even worth it. Just like our apartment now would be like more than it would be more. skincare business. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is online. Nice. We do a skincare business and sell online. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. so this, you said look at this is 1,400 square feet? 1,450. 1,450. Yeah. Got a bathroom, little kitchen. Nice little office. Closet. I like this closet. I couldn't really tell from the first story. Usually when you get those, you usually take a couple photos. I couldn't tell why they took the house when this is out here. And I mean, we can move walls if you wanted, but that's going to increase turn and that kind of stuff. So, I was actually one thing I was going to ask you what are your options? They're looking for at least a three year, four year. Yeah, so 
So we're just gonna ignore the eyelashes and my hair set up as usual. You guys know I have severe allergies, but yeah, your girl keeps getting her eyelashes done and they look crazy. I know I'm getting a refill on Tuesday, but anyway, my filming during these videos is low key kind of annoying. So let me just explain. So with the office space that we're looking at right now, the reason I stopped recording is because the guy had said that they were looking for a three year lease. And that's another huge issue we've been running into when it comes to searching for office spaces. We don't know where we want to be in six years, um, whether it's location where we, you know, want our business to be, etc. So to trap ourselves in a spot for three years is like a really big no-no for us, even a year. Because the square footage that we're looking at now or the space that we move into now may not even work for us. Like a lot of these people, a lot of these businesses that are moving into these businesses are already established. Like they know what they're going in there for. It's not really about expanding for them or even if it is, you know, you know, they probably could afford to just pay out that three year or two year whatever they have left and just completely leave but for us it's like to invest not invest but to be there for three years is just a lot for us especially because we didn't even realize from like november of this year to now that our business would be the way that it is so imagine if for instance next month from now it goes even crazy like you don't it's so unpredictable so to trap ourselves in three years it's kind of like mm, like a big red flag for us that's why i kind of actually stopped recording again and it's tough to still record while like being in conversation with these people so um i'm just like we're just kind of like mm, i stopped recording after he said that because i was like oh, okay and then he was saying that they possibly could do two years but even two years for us is kind of like still i mean it's not that bad because I, I don't think we'll be moving anywhere in two years the nice thing with this office space is that it was 1450 square feet which is literally probably other than the warehouse one of the bigger things we looked at however the warehouse um which was in the last clip was look at how much is the warehouse 15. the warehouse in the last clip was 1500 with everything included except electricity and internet and then this one was 1800 included which honestly so with electricity, wouldn't electricity have been like 200? So that other place would have been 1700. So they would have been similar in price, right? Close. Actually, it would have been, yeah, very similar in price. And this one ended up being like 1875 a month with everything included, not including internet, which would probably be like another 50, 60 a month. So $1,800 a month, which is insane. So, and that, that's just crazy because we're not even in like a crazy area where it's like things need to be expensive. So I'm not sure why everything is so expensive. But, um, so yeah, once you did said that, I kind of just I stopped recording. But what's crazy is this honestly is one of our favorite spaces. Um, now it does have a lot of like offices in this video. It does have like a lot of offices in that space, which we don't necessarily need. And that's why he was saying, you know, you could we could take the walls down, but that would extend the lease term. It's like so you have to be there even longer than three years. Um, but he's saying that yeah, you could take the walls down, etc. But even the sizes of the offices wouldn't be bad. You know what I'm saying? Like we can have this room, this sick room, this room be this room. But that price, you can almost rent a whole nother apartment. I mean, you could rent a whole nother apartment and save a few hundred a month. So it's just like it's very stressful to say the least. Like it's very, very stressful. And actually, in this video, there's another place that we looked at. It was a house with a lot of square footage. Um, I'm not gonna include the video in here because. A lot of these times we're seeing like these people's homes and they still live in it and it's just it's already awkward enough filming it but that lady was just incredibly rude and like just was well probably a little racist and ignorant she like just didn't look at me and didn't pay attention to me and only spoke and looked at logan so i'm not even gonna include that video in here um but yeah we went to look at a home that had a lot of square footage that home didn't work like you would think that these places would work we looked at townhomes homes um i'm actually even debating inserting some of the homes that we've looked at because we've looked at so many homes i might even do that just in this video but we'll see because it's already like 30 minutes but but the other office space we looked at which was the first one in this video um that one was honestly one of our top choices we were willing to drive that 40 minutes out the way we ignored the cat behind me but they had said they only have one out in the entire building they're just telling us now that we need permits and etc to put it in and we had to pay for it to get installed and we're just sitting here like who has thousands of dollars to invest in that place? And like, it's in the middle of nowhere too. So it's like, no, that's definitely a no. So we're just, we are now a month, if not two months into looking for a place. And it's just, it's beyond frustrating. I can say the least. I still don't have an apartment. So I don't know guys, this entire process has been beyond frustrating. I feel like I'm searching for my car again and I need to make a car story time video for you guys.